In this presentation, we'll explain how to select a model and product series using AP Tech's Published Selection Guide. We'll then demonstrate how to configure a part number using AP Tech's data sheets. Using application requirements and published documents at AP Tech's website, this presentation details a four-step process to selecting the proper AP Tech product. Step one is to get basic application information. To get a general model selected, you must have the gas name, location in the gas system, and the maximum flow rate. Maximum pressure or pressures should be known to make sure that the pressures are within the range of the selection guide. In some cases, the pressures can be higher or lower than the assumptions used in the guide. In step two, with this information, you can use our pressure regulator and valve selection guide number 208 to select the model. Steps three and four require additional application information, but can be requested during step one to speed up the selection process. Step three is to determine the series such as AP, AZ, or AK. Most AP Tech models come in AP, AZ, and AK series. The series differences will be explained later in this presentation. Step four is to locate the proper data sheets to configure a complete part number. A complete part number is needed to get a price quote and lead time. A complete part number includes series, connection type, pressure or pressures, ports, actuator type, and other options. If you're not sure, you can always ask AP Tech's product specialists to help you at any point in the process. Now let's review the items needed to enable basic model selection. These are again, the gas, location in the gas system, and flow. Pressure or pressures are required to ensure a proper selection and to work with the factory to assist in a proper selection. The gas should include concentration percentage if it is a mixture. Next, determine location in the gas system. A regulator is a source application if it is the first regulator downstream of a cylinder or bulk gas storage system. It is a distribution regulator if it is downstream of the source regulator. Maximum flow rate will determine the flow capacity needed. A valve is a source application if between the cylinder or bulk gas storage system and the first regulator. In other words, if it is upstream of the source regulator. Distribution is any valve after or downstream of the first regulator. Often an application requirement will be specified as a required CV or flow coefficient, such as 0.5 CV. CV can also be used to select proper valve sizes, but should not be used for regulator selection. Now let's select the model for an example application. This example is a semiconductor application for ammonia. The PNID on the left is of a cylinder cabinet process gas manifold. The application is a cylinder regulator. No gauges are needed as there are pressure transducers in the inlet and outlet side of the regulator. The application also includes a pneumatic valve directly upstream of the regulator on the inlet pressure side. The maximum flow rate is five liters per minute. With this information, we can make a model selection. Go to AP Tech's technical bulletin section and download the pressure regulator and valve selection guide number 208. The regulator and valve selection guide includes the most common specialty gases used in semiconductor manufacturing. When using the guide, there are a few general notes and assumptions for you to understand. When a valve is recommended, it is limited to a single basic pneumatic and manual model. Any same size and compatible rating actuator can also be used within a valve series. If two-stage regulation is recommended, the regulators will be listed and separated by a slash symbol. If the recommended regulator is printed in red, heating is required to meet the required flow rate. Product note number 407 explains why heating is needed and where heating should be applied. There are also several assumptions made in the guide about pressures. The source inlet pressure is assumed to be 150 PSI or 10 bar if a gas and vapor pressure if liquefied gas. This is assumed so the source regulator has enough flow capacity to meet the requirement at its lowest inlet pressure when gas cylinders are changed. Distribution minimum inlet pressure is assumed to be 30 PSI or vapor pressure and minimum outlet pressure is 10 PSI. Below 10 PSI required flow rates may not be possible. 
Please check with the factory if your application is outside of these pressure assumptions. Unless noted, PCTFE is the recommended seat material. Some applications recommend polyimid seats and will have VS written after the model name. All recommendations are for 316L body material. Stainless steel grade, surface finishes, connection size, and type are not specified. Now let's go back to our requirements. An ammonia cylinder regulator with 5 liters per minute maximum flow and a pneumatic valve directly upstream of this regulator. The selection guide lists gas names alphabetically. Each gas has recommended maximum flow rates for source and distribution valves and regulators. This application is a source application since it's a cylinder regulator and a valve upstream. The maximum flow rate is 5 liters per minute. The recommended valve is a 3550 pneumatic valve or 3625 manual valve. The recommended regulator is a 1500S. While knowing gas, location, pressures, and flow will enable you to select the model in our selection guide, to request a price quote and lead time, the part must be fully configured. To do this, we need additional information. What body material, grade of material, and surface finish is needed? What kind of connection is needed? And what size, male or female? Additionally, you'll need to know if the application requires additional ports, gauges, and the type of valve actuator. With this information, you can properly configure a part using our data sheets. As always, if you're not sure of what you require or does not on our data sheet, please check with the factory. We have many options that are not published on the data sheets. Now let's select the model number, series, and configure the part number for an example application. Additional information is needed to select a complete part number. The cylinder regulator does not require gauges. The pneumatic valve directly upstream of the regulator requires the inlet and outlet port at right angles per the schematic. Both valve and regulator require quarter inch face seal fittings, inlet male and outlet female, and 316L secondary remelt stainless steel is required. The choices for series are AP, AZ, or AK. In general, AP series should be selected when 316L stainless steel secondary remelt is required or nickel chromium molybdenum alloy body is needed for corrosive gas service. Secondary remelt 316L stainless steel is higher purity and has less inclusions than single melt 316L stainless steel. The AP series offers better optional surface finishes than the AZ series. The AZ series single melt 316L stainless steel is a more cost effective solution than the AP series. Like the AP series, it is also electropolished, features metal to metal diaphragm seals, is helium leak tested, and clean room assembled. The AK series is used for high purity and clean for oxygen gas service applications and features NPT or compression fittings. The AK series is available in single melt 316L stainless steel and brass. The AK series is more cost effective than the AP and AZ series. AK products are not electropolished and AK series regulators feature a metal with Teflon diaphragm seal. The AK series products are nitrogen leak tested and not assembled in a clean room. Now that we've explained the uses and features of the three series, let's go back and choose the best series for the example application. Now that we've determined the model numbers, the 1500S and 3550, we can determine the series AP, AZ, or AK using the decision tree. The first question is what connection type? In our example application, the application requires face seal connections. This eliminates the AK option because it features NPT or compression connections, not face seal. The next question is what body material? The requirement is secondary remelt 316L stainless steel. This is only available on the AP series. The AZ series features single melt 316L stainless steel. The choice is AP. Now that we've completed steps one through three and have selected the model and series of product, we can configure a part number. This will allow for a price quote and estimated lead time. Go to AP Tech's website under products. Nearly all models are available in AP, AZ, or AK series, so make sure to select the correct series datasheet. For our selection example, Download the AP Series 1500 datasheet. AP Tech datasheets have specifications and information needed to specify a part number with all available published options. In our example, the maximum outlet pressure is 40 PSIG. 
the AP1506 maximum outlet pressure is 60 PSIG, so it's a good fit. Since ammonia is a non-corrosive gas, the 1500S is the correct choice. For corrosive gas surface, we offer the SH and H feature at an additional cost. Now let's configure the part number. Again, our example requirement is an ammonia source regulator, quarter inch face seal male inlet and female outlet, outlet pressure 40 PSI, max flow 5 liters per minute, and no gauges. Starting from top left and moving down, we will select AP1506 with S, stainless steel body. Standard surface finish of 15RA Max requires no further selection. Two PW or two welded ports are selected because no gauges are needed. If there were gauges required, the gauges must be equal or more than the maximum outlet pressure. The inlet requirement is quarter inch male face seal. That is an MV4 inlet. And the outlet requirement is quarter inch female face seal or FV4 outlet. The final part number is AP1506S 2PW MV4, FV4, and this part can now be quoted for price and lead time. For the source valve requirement, go back to APTEC's website in the product section and download the AP3550 datasheet. Now let's configure the AP3550 part number. The valve's maximum operating pressure is 300 PSI. This is well below the typical ammonia cylinder vapor pressure of 114 PSI. Gas properties, including typical cylinder pressures, are available at APTEC's website as product note number 428, Gas Data Tables. Since typical cylinder pressure values are for room temperature, you should allow for higher pressures in the case of higher ambient temperatures or future possible cylinder heating. For example, ammonia cylinder vapor pressure is 174 PSI at 32 degrees Celsius. Therefore, other pneumatic actuators listed on the data sheet, such as the 145 PSI rated 3540 actuator, are not a good selection. As mentioned previously, the selection guide recommends a single pneumatic and single manual actuator for brevity. However, APTEC has many different actuator designs. As long as, for a given series, the pressure is compatible, you can select another actuator. In our example case of a source ammonia pneumatic application, the 3540 and 3542 actuators do not have high enough operating pressure ratings. The 3580 is normally open, so that does not meet the need. The 3000 actuator has more than enough operating pressure range, but 3000 PSIG maximum operating pressure is not necessary for the job. The 3550 is the best solution. The example application also requires the inlet and outlet ports at right angles. Looking at the schematic, the dark triangle outlet port is at the 12 o'clock position, and the inlet port is at the 3 o'clock position looking from the actuator side of the valve or top view. This is a 2PWA port configuration on the data sheet. For more information about APTEC product porting, please review APTEC's valve porting training presentation and Product note number 443 titled Valve Porting Options. Now let's configure the complete valve part number. To review, the 208 guide selected 3550. We chose AP series because of the 316L secondary remelt stainless requirement. S is selected because ammonia is not corrosive. No surface finish is specified, so we'll use the standard surface finish of 15RA Max no optional surface finish designator is needed. The schematic has two ports at right angles per the flow schematic, so we choose 2PW. The right angle adds A to become a 2PWA configuration. The application requires quarter inch face seal fittings, male inlet and female outlet. The part number is AP3550S 2PWA MV4 FV4. The part can now be quoted for price and delivery. Let's review key information in regulator and valve series and model selection. To select the proper model of valve or regulator, you need to know the gas, location in the gas system, and flow. The 208 selection guide enables selection of the valve or regulator model based on gas type, 
location and gas system, and maximum flow. The AP series is used when secondary remelt 316L stainless steel body and tube stubs or face seal connections are needed. The AZ series is used when tube stub or face seal connections are needed and is more cost effective than the AP series due to use of single melt 316L stainless steel. The AK series is used when NPT or compression connections are required. To get a proper price quote and lead time, a complete part number must be configured. The additional information needed to configure a complete part number for quote and lead time is choice of series AP, AZ, or AK, connections, and other options. This can be done using our data sheets. There will always be applications not in the 208 selection guide and available options that are not published in the data sheets. For best guidance, consult the factory or your distributor for any application or option needs. For more information about AP Tech products, go to aptechonline.com where all the documents referenced in this presentation are available for viewing or download.